So this is a 38-year-old gentleman who presents with ulnar-sided wrist pain. In my experience, 99% of all ulnar-sided wrist pain uh, in this uh, active patient profile is the triangular fiber cartilage. That's pain in the ulnar snuff box, as well as pain on end range supination, and he doesn't have that. What he clearly does have is a subluxing ulnar uh, uh, ECU. I was trying to d document that, show that to you, one second. Okay, we saw it, there you go. I don't know if you can see, you see it jumping over there. Yes. Um, and what you can also see is that there does appear to be a thickening of the ECU as it jumps in the area where it subluxes over the ulnar styloid. So there's the subluxing ulnar nerve. And the stress test uh, for that is pain on resisted uh, uh, flexion, such as washing his face. And that, 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 that test is painful because it subluxes out. If you reduce it it's, and, and hold it in position while he does the same test, it's not as painful. It's still a little bit painful, but you can quite clearly see if you put the, the wrist into ulnar deviation and flex, gently flex and extend, you can see how the tendon subluxes there. So this is a subluxing ECU tendon with ECU tendonitis. Uh, the investigation of this will be an ultrasound. Uh, you can do an MRI, but I think ultrasound is just cheaper and quicker, and then we can uh, decide on the management going forward.